up in a greatly increased flexibility. And as a weapon of greatly increased flexibility. So the tractor problems are escalating now. So wait, how much equipment do you have now? No. You don't have any equipment? You're gonna make it too. It's not here. Don't have a blower, don't have a deck, don't have a bunch of blades, a bunch of tillers. All for these Alice Chandlers, doesn't have any of that. Oh boy. Gonna be playing with some lawnmower carburetors next. About to work on the uh, about to work on the gas tank. Found a rust hole in it. See what we got. Everybody out there, I want you to realize there's no gas in this tank or this would be a very bad, this is kerosene heater. Do not do that with a tank that's that gas in it. <laughs> that was a poor life decision, as Harrison would say. This is how we do it when it's 30 degrees in uh, North Carolina in the dead of winter. Go ahead and tell them what we're doing while we're using tape. Well, we're trying to get a perfect, uh, well, a fairly perfect uh, square or cut out of this tank to remove the rust spot. We got to get to solid metal on all sides of it, and we're just marking it off with the tape. Blasted camera. Don't be so difficult. Oh, it's refusing to focus. There we go. So in other words, dude, that was still in there too long, that's hot. <laughs> so in other words, straight line, cut this out, this piece will be gone. We take a nice, fresh piece of sheet metal over there. We'll take and we'll just trim this up nice and sexy like. Pop it in there, tack it, butt weld it all the way around. And make it nice. As you can tell, the tank's actually in pretty good shape. I don't know if you'll be able to focus on that. It's not actually too bad, other than the ugly paint job. I was not the painter, or would not look like that. This right. is everything. Don't do it like this unless you're willing to lose a finger. Because that's just how hardcore we are. We're willing to lose a finger over a lawnmower gas tank. Waste any metal. 
metal, so guess what we're gonna use this spindle piece for? <laughs> you guessed right. Well, might as well use it in my hand. All right. Boys and girls, everybody home. I don't care if you're 11 or 12, you need one of these. If you're doing any kind of sheet metal work, this thing makes your life a hell of a lot easier. We're all getting down and dirty here. Usually on the other side. Put the right hand. All right. Yep. Might want to make it just a hair. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, the flash from the art can actually damage the the optical chip in this uh, camera, so I'm not going to mess with it. Probably shouldn't touch that, buddy. Uh oh, it's steaming, that's not good. <laughs> uh oh. Whoosh! <laughs> Let's go see what we can do. Yeah, that's still on? Nope. Yeah, man. Or, no.
It's probably over the top for a fucking gas. <laughs> over the top is your middle name, though. So what? I got a like 62 or 3 B B1. I got to make it nice. That's right. So that's some kind of rear tractor. on a running 10 horsepower brig. Where else are you going to see shit like this? For no apparent reason. 